reported today in The Verge. Bioethics experts call on GoFundMe to ban unproven medical treatments. A bioethics study published on December 8 calls on crowdfunding platform GoFundMe to ditch campaigns for unproven and unsafe medical procedures. People turn to GoFundMe for help paying for all sorts of medical interventions. These campaigns have brought in over $650 million since 2010, but a subset of the money raised is spent on unproven and even illegal operations. Unregulated stem cell therapies, for example, attract harsh condemnation from the Food and Drug Administration, and Google even banned ads for the procedures. But the public fundraisers still appear on GoFundMe. In the new paper, published in the peer-reviewed bioethics journal The Hastings Center Report, the authors argue that GoFundMe enables misinformation that enriches bad actors and can harm patients sick with cancer or other serious conditions. Between November 2017 and November 2018, GoFundMe campaigns raised over $5 million for unregulated neurological stem cell procedures, according to a recent study. Those campaigns were shared over 200,000 times on social media. They know this is happening. It can't happen without their involvement, says Jeremy Snyder, a bioethics researcher at Simon Fraser University and co-author of the report. I think they should be ashamed of themselves for taking part in it. This report comes days after the Washington Post reported that an unregulated stem cell treatment center based in Tampa, Florida, openly coached patients to take out loans and crowdfund thousands of dollars for risky procedures. I think it's absolutely beyond time for them to stop, Snyder says about GoFundMe's inaction, and an instance of them running counter to what the rest of the tech sector seems to be doing. Tech companies are facing more scrutiny for enabling clinics that push pseudoscience, and major players like Facebook and Google have taken action. Facebook is removing sensational health claims, and Google recently banned predatory ads for unregulated cell therapies. But GoFundMe has yet to act in a comparable way when it comes to similar treatments. Alison Bateman House, an assistant professor at New York University's Langone Health and a bioethics expert who is unaffiliated with the report, says it's perfectly reasonable to bar unproven treatments from fundraising. Bateman House is concerned that GoFundMe allows misinformation, suggesting it messes with patients' abilities to make informed decisions by not policing false medical claims. We know that most Americans are not medically literate, she says. Where there is money to be made, some will prey on the hopes and misunderstandings of others. In response to questions from The Verge, a GoFundMe spokesperson shared a company statement related to its policies on stem cell therapy. The statement says I for more on this story, visit the news article link.